surround yourself with pregnant people. When Mary was pregnant and the angel told her, Joseph is not understanding you. I want you to go to Elizabeth. She's also pregnant. She has a similar story to yours. She couldn't have kids. I want you to be with her and as you are with her, you will get through this hard time. Let me tell you how to get through hard times in life. It's not to have the best devotional Bible you can find in Christian bookstore. It's not even to have good podcasts. Let me tell you how to get through hard time in your marriage and in your finances. You gotta find some pregnant people. You gotta find people who may not be your age, your skin color and your upbringing but they have the same thing inside of them as you have inside of you. They may have an accent but they have the same attitude. They may have a different skin color but they say that they have the same dreams and the same determination and if you surround yourself with pregnant people you will get through and not die when things are hard. Can somebody say amen? The Bible says bad company corrupts good habit, good habit. You know what that means? Bad company kills dreams. Bad company kills goals. You can have great goals. Bible says clearly don't be misled. Don't think just because a dream is good and because you are good then whoever you surround yourself with it doesn't matter. Bible says don't be a fool. Bad company it kills dreams that's why the angel knew that and he tells Mary find yourself at Elizabeth because what you're going through is going to get a little bit rough but if you find yourself Elizabeth you're going to get through this and whatever you have inside will be delivered and that you will have a great miracle in your life. And Judas also had a company. Judas found himself pregnant people. You know who were those people? Pharisees who had the same demons as Judas had. Jesus is eating a supper and Judas is there but he's with the clock because Judas has another supper. Judas has another party and this wasn't a party that Judas was supposed to bring people to God. This was a party with Pharisees and he's waiting. Okay Jesus give us the bread. Come on quickly hurry up. Give us the, give us the juice. We gotta go. We gotta go and everything is done and Jesus continues all of these revelations and guess what is Judas with the pregnant people who have the same thing as he has and very soon he does, his dreams become a reality his dreams that destroy his life your dreams are a reality not because you're brilliant and smart it's because you're surrounded with people who are can somebody say amen I think it was Kirk Franklin who said the following that really touched me he said I was raised with no father bad neighborhood high school dropout food stamps etc you know what saved me mentoring Two years ago I remember sitting and by the gym during our chill night with one couple who was living together and dating. Dating and living together. They had a child and I was encouraged them with my wife to get married. I was like hey you guys are already living like married. How hard is it? It's gonna be easy. Just get a marriage certificate, get married. You will have no guilt, no shame and just your relationship will really be solid. And this girl just jumps back at me and she said everyone around me is divorced. My parents are, his parents are, all of my friends and everyone in the community is divorced and I'm afraid to get married. She says 75%, statistics says 75% of people are divorced. I was like, that high? I didn't know it was that high. She said, I'm scared. I said, it's funny how you're not scared to sin and go to hell but you're scared to, to get married. As we continue to talk, I asked her, it's interesting that we go because she was going at the time to our church lovely people I said it's interesting that you actually come to the same church we live in the same tri cities you think everyone is getting divorced and I cannot for the life of me know one person who is like my parents are married my pastor is married one uncle Leon Larissa is married Koisa Natasha Stefan and Galina Erin and Tatiana, Ilya and Mariana. I was like for the life of me I cannot think of one person who's divorced. She's like well it's maybe in your world and I was like who rejected you from that world? 
And did you know I said Dr. Phil said? I had to use Dr. Phil, not Prophet Isaiah. I said, you know what Dr. Phil said? That if a couple prays together and goes to church together, just do these two things, just these two things, that they have a divorce chance, one in 10,000. He said, that's not possible. I was like, huh, you didn't know that? And here she sits and her fear starts to crumble. And what I realized with this young lady, all of her fears and all of her ideas was not because people were getting divorced. It's that she was in that company. And you know what the bad thing would be? If she is to get married, she will get divorced. If she will change her surrounding, she will not get divorced. And the best part, she won't be miserable in her marriage. It's not about the society. It's about your society. It's about your soul call of friends. If all of your friends are divorced, you will be too. If they are all broke, cussing, addicted, potheads, not want to do anything in life, if that's their friends, unless you're there to lift them up, but if it's your comfort zone, I have a bad news for you today. You surrounded yourself with pregnant people and you're going to deliver exactly what they're delivering. And God wants you to know one thing. You got to surround yourself with the new surrounding if you want dreams to become a life. In this coming year, the way you overcome is you change what you speak. You stand strong when things are hard and you change your surrounding. And God will help you. Can somebody say?